Hello everybody and welcome back with CAC. In today's video we're going to be taking another look at Japanese snacks with some more from Starry Mart. Uh, we've got a small selection today, most of them are crisps or just sort of like savoury crisp snacks. So we're just going to get straight into them. Today we have got uh, Calvi potato chip, Lay's crinkle cut, Star potato chips, passion fruit pejoy, and an ocean bomb Pokemon pop. <coughs> so we're going to start off with one of our savoury snacks, but this time it's a little bit different because it's not a savoury flavour. We have our good old favourite Calbee, and these are honey butter flavoured potato crisps. So this one's going to be a bit interesting. I think we've had sweet flavoured ones before. We've had, uh, I think it was the mango, the feel aloha ones from, I think it was Japan Crate, back when we did a Japan Crate tasting. So, let's see. Oh boy. I don't want to open. <laughs> okay, let's see how these uh, sweet crisps taste. So they just look like regular potato crisps. A bit big, that one. They smell slightly sweet. So let's give it a taste and see what it's like. Hmm. It's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah. It's got the regular flavour of potato, but with this sweet, sugary honey glaze on top. Hmm. Yeah. I suppose it is. Oops, I dropped one. It is a little bit like um, sweet glazed um, sweet potatoes. And the thing is, I think they're still salted as well. Yeah, they are still salted. So it kind of contrasts with the sweetness of the honey flavor. Yeah. <clears throat> mm. They're really good. I could finish the whole bag of those. Oh, we've got an English description down the bottom. Yep, we've got milk, salt, sugar, um, mascarpone cheese powder, and also honey powder. So, yeah, quite an interesting selection of flavours there. And they're all really, really tasty. So, yeah, sweet flavoured potato crisps. Not the first time I've tried a sweet flavour. And it works just as well as the last one. Really good. So next up, I'm going for uh, Lay's, which uh, I've mentioned before. Lay's being the same sort of the same over overall company as uh, Walkers here in the UK. Um, and these are roast chicken wing flavour. So, oops, take a look. These are big, chunky, crinkly ones, kind of like McCoy's or maybe Walker's Max. Ooh. Yeah, that's a really strong kind of barbecue flavour there. Mm. <coughs> possibly, possibly pepper in there as well, because there's a little bit of spicy pepperness there. Mm. I don't know whether I'd identify that as chicken, but it's definitely kind of like a barbecue sauce kind of flavour. Mm. Very good. Very nice thick crunch to them as well. Mm. Yeah, great texture. Just a very 
strong savoury kind of flavour. Let me see if I can see what it says. Soy sauce, yeah, soy sauce, garlic, chilli, black pepper. Yeah, it's definitely, it's all there. Mm. Very nice. Very much enjoying this. So yeah, these are also a really good flavour. I think, I think in the UK a while ago there was a barbecue flavour, which was black, the Walker's Crisp black packet barbecue flavour. Very similar to that but with more of a peppery kick to it. Mm. Really good. If you like nice, strong, savoury, meaty flavours, then that's definitely a good one. Lovely. So now I'm going to have something to wash down the spiciness and just cleanse the palate a little. So I'm going to go into the drink, our Ocean Bomb Poke Pop with Meowth and this one is peach flavour I'm not sure if I've tried the peach flavour before um, I've lost track of many of the flavours I've tried I've tried most of them all I know is that I haven't had Meowth before so let's give this a try that lovely fizz let's open it up take a sip That's really nice. Tastes like peach, but like the other Ocean Bomb, there's still that flavour of seltzer to it, basically the fizziness, the carbonation, which is to be expected because Ocean Bomb is flavoured sparkling water and not pop, as we would call it. Um, <clears throat> but it is still pretty good. Yeah. It's very light, very light and fruity, slightly sweet, like not overwhelmingly sweet, not too syrupy. It's just a nice, light, fruity flavour. And with that, <coughs> I will have that beside me to drink as I continue onwards to um, these Heli highly hooly um potato chips bacon and cheese flavor so these look really good these are from china so these are a chinese product um i think the lays is um well lays is the american company i believe i think that was the chinese version of that calvi is japanese these ones are chinese as well so let's continue on these are always, always so difficult to open. Oh, flipping neck. <laughs> I often wonder how people get into these. So, here we are, they look like tubes. And they are star shaped tubes. I think you can just about see. The focus isn't very good, but they are star-shaped on the end there. Mm. Yeah, a sort of cheesy bacon flavour. Reminds me of carbonara sauce, actually, the kind of flavour you get with that. Mm. The texture reminds me Let's see if it'll come to my mind what it is. Kinda. A bit like French fries. Um, if you've had Walker's, the, the crisp brand French fries. <laughs> um, so if you've had Walker's French fries, it has that kind of texture to it. But in a tube. Or Walker snaps. You know the little Walker snaps, the little puffy squares. Uh, they have a dragon on the brand. It's that kind of texture. Now the flavour. Again, kind of carbonara-y. It smells smoky, like smoky bacon or smoked cheese. 
There's also, I think I'm tasting a hint of tomato in there. It doesn't say there's tomato in the ingredients, but it tastes similar to tomato, whatever it is. But, mm, really good. A nice, light, fluffy, crispy texture. Not too heavy, not too stodgy. But, <clears throat> but yeah, um, overall, pretty good. Could probably do with a bit more sort of cheesiness in the flavour. It's not distinctively cheesy, but still really good. Very tasty, very delicious, and you know, just moreish enough to make me want to keep going and finish the rest of the bag. So, um, definitely a winner there. Really, really good. Okay, and now we're going to finish off with the sweet snack, and that is Pejoy. Uh, we've done Pejoy before, I believe. I don't remember the exact flavours that we did at the time because it's been a long time, and I've tried a lot of things since then. So. Next up, this is the passion fruit flavour. Um, <clears throat> these seem to be part of a uh, sort of luxury series. I think another one was uh, rose flavour, and another one was blueberry and lavender, or something like that. So, you know, really, really interesting kind of flavours going on there. Um, this one is passion fruit. Um, oops. Give it a try again. Pretzel sticks, as usual. And they have sort of like cream on the inside. You can't really see it though, it's dark in there. And let's give it a try. So it's kind of, kind of like sort of this mild creamy yogurty flavour at first, but then you get like this tang, this little tang of fruity flavour, and hmm. yeah, you can find a kind of um, recognise that as passion fruit fruit flavour, but it's it's kind of like eating a yogurty biscuit. Which is nice. Yeah, it has it has this creamy texture, but also kind of like a buttercream texture, I guess. In the middle, and of course the crispiness crispiness of the pretzel stick itself, really nice. And it just has that nice sort of soft, creamy filling. Mmm. And the flavour is really, really good. It's getting better the more I eat of this. The flavour just comes out more and more. Mmm. Yeah. Because I've had some flavours of Pejoy in the past that haven't been as flavourful. Like, I think one I had was chocolate and red wine flavour. Interesting sounding combination, I know. But when you eat it... It just kind of tastes like dark chocolate and not much else. But this, mm, yeah, the flavour on this one is really jumping out. So yeah, I can see why they're calling these ones sort of like the luxury selection. So I think after trying this, I might in future try and pick up some of the other luxury flavours. Give those a taste and see what they're like. Because this one, really, really nice. Mmm. But, I'm going to have to stop myself for now. All of those I can finish off later. Another time. Have them with lunch or something. But, um, I'll have another sip. Hmm. So, yes. <clears throat> a really, really good selection of things there. All the crisps are really nice. The bacon and cheese, not quite as good as the others, but still up there. I think it just could use a little bit of extra flavour going on for it. Um, 
but everything else really great can't really say a bad word about any of them so that is it for this one uh, thank you for joining me if you enjoyed please do like comment and subscribe down below let me know what you thought let me know if there are any other flavors of things that you'd like to try from anywhere around the world doesn't have to be japanese snacks can be american can be european can be australian or even if you just want my opinion on some of the british snacks that i have here locally if you want me to do like a tier list or something like a tier list of chocolates or a tier list of biscuits anything like that um, or if they want me to react to any videos that you'd like me to watch or if there are any games that you'd like me to play or if you just want to say hi ask a question or something feel free to down below it's nice to know that i'm not alone out here so until the next time thank you for joining me thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye Thank you.